Hello traders! In this video, you'll see explanations of the numerous input parameters available for position size calculator. The version you see here is 2.21. First, let's see how it looks if we load it with the default parameters. Now let's try to change them. The first parameter is Show Line Labels, which is on by default. As you can see, the Stop Loss label is there. Let's turn it off. The labels are now gone. Let's go to the next one. Switching the Show Line Labels on again. Draw text as a background will reveal the chart candles behind the line labels. Switching it to True. While we're at it, let's also change the label's colors. Font size and font face. As you can see, the label is now drawn behind the candle. Let's turn it back off. Switching the panel on top of chart parameter to false will make the panel move to the chart's background. As you see, it no longer hides the chart. Let's move on. Hide account size will remove the line with the account balance from the panel. Let's also switch on the Show PIP value. Let's see what happens. The account size field is now gone, and the current PIP value is now displayed at the bottom of the panel. Let's proceed further. Let's change our lines a bit. There are colors. Styles. And width. There's no point to increase width for dot and dash dot lines as they work only with one point width. Hooray! Now the lines look really funky. Now to the default parameters. The default initial risk is 1%. If we change it to 10 here, it will become 10 in the panel. By default, the entry type is instant. We can change it to pending here. While we're at it, let's also change the initial commission in commentary. The commission is zero by default. Let's set it to 20. Commentary is used only by the trading script. More on that in other videos, but let's change it too. All these default parameters are quite helpful if you use chart templates and profiles. Here is the commission, and here's the commentary. Two more default values are for stop loss and take profit. Let's remove the indicator and attach it again to see how these input parameters work. Let's do 100 for stop loss. And 200 for take profit. Here we are. TP multiplier will change how the button will set take profit. How many stop loss distances will it become? If we set it to five, the button will move the take profit to five times the stop loss. Show spread is a simple one. Let's try it. 
Now the current spread is shown at the top of the panel. Additional funds is a more complex parameter. By default, the panel only shows the current account balance or equity. However, you might have other accounts with some trading funds on them, and you want the indicator to calculate the risk based on your total funds. You can set those additional funds via this parameter. Let's say you have 20,000 in additional funds. Now the account balance is increased by that amount and there's a small asterisk which reminds you that additional funds are applied. Use fixed SL distance and use fixed TP distance will replace the absolute stop loss and take profit levels with PIP distances. Use CFD multiplier is present only in the MT5 version of the indicator because CFD specifications are not always correctly filled out by the brokers. If you see that the position size is way off or pit value is calculated incorrectly when using the calculator on some CFD, just set use CFD multiplier to true and see if it helps. The final parameter is show ATR options, which lets you set stop loss and take profit as multiples of ATR. As you can see, it calculates the average true range and you can set a separate multiplier for SL and TP. That's all for the input parameters video. All these features will be discussed in more detail in other videos.